Okay. Hello. I'm going to teach you how to make GUIs for E3s to show you cool down in your screen. Fully customizable, usable for any class and any skill that says a message in chat. Um, it's going to look like this. And yeah, it's just going to count down once it reaches zero again. It's just going to say the skill number, skill name in, in green. So essentially to get started, we're going to, so you're going to open your macros config. Obviously shift tilde is the default key combination. There's a little piece of paper on the top left. You can click it, hit GUI editor. This is where you make your screens for your GUIs. So you click the paper again, and you can click create new screen. For this, I'm just going to call it tutorial. Okay. So you have this grid, and you add labels to the grid by clicking the plus sign in the bottom left. You put the label wherever you want. You format it however you'd like. And for this purpose, I'm going to make the, the control name, which is the only thing that you really need to change. I'm going to name it tutorial. Okay. Now that we have that named tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and make a new config first for this. Okay. Now we're going to create a new file. I'm going to, I would, if I were you, I would call this the name of the class that you're making the GUI for. I'm going to name it tutorial. And I'm going to go ahead and just copy paste off of something I already have. So this will be in the description. This is why you make a GUI. This is the, you know, set of code that you need to make the label go down when you use the skill. Now, to make it easier, the one I have in the description will say this. This is usable for any name, so you don't have to change this. And people also won't be able to fuck with you and send you a message that, you know, wastes it. So, this right here. This is the counter, and it set this sets the variable C condemn to 55 by default when you when it you know when it reads this message. So we're gonna what did we we are gonna name this tutorial. So now the variable tutorial is set to 55 seconds. That's probably not the inflame cooldown, but that doesn't matter. But essentially, macros is not the same timing as Minecraft, so if the cooldown is 60, I set it to 55. There's a formula for it, I think it's like, uh, I'll post it in the description, the formula for the cooldown difference. And this is the label, so right here, this is what you put for control name for the label, which is right here. Right here. This This is what that should be. So when we go back over to tutorial, we're obviously just going to name this what we named it, tutorial. I put C here, so I can name them the same. This is the counter, counter tutorial, C for counter. So this will be also counter tutorial. This is C, so this will also be C counter tutorial. Counter tutorial here too. This is the variable for the label, the control name. So that will be tutorial as well. And now this this text right here is what will be displayed when the skill is off cooldown in green. So, you know, I'll for for this I'll obviously gonna name it in flame. What I would do for redundancy like not redundancy, for you know more better organization, I would name the counter variable and the control name for the label, the name of the skill or something that abbreviates it. So, you know, if it's a long name like Manabomb, 
I would do it like MB or something like that. But this is what it will display in the actual label, so I'm going to name it in flame for the label. So now what you're going to do is, for the macro config that you use for that class, you're going to go to the right, hit on chat, and I'll have this in the description as well. You're going to put this, and inside of the inside of the brackets is going to be the name of the text file .txt inside of the carrots, you know, less than greater than signs. So that means on chat, every time there's a chat message, this file will run. So now that we have that finished, we're going to go back to our GUI editor. We have our tutorial screen, but right now it's displaying the in-game screen as something else because this is displaying Doomsayer currently. So you just click and drag tutorial, or whatever you named it, over the in-game one, and it'll switch it out. And now you'll see we'll have the blank label. Now if I use inflame, it will start counting down. And that's that's basically it. The, you know, to get rid of the shadow and all that, that silly shit, I'm just going to go back onto your screen, right click it, set this opacity completely opaque, Middle center shadow, done. And there you go. Now you have very simple, easy to understand GUIs that don't take up too much space on your screen. And will help you a lot while you're PvPing. And the uh, the last step to help you win PvP, don't forget this, you're going to press your, uh, your voxel map binding, click the radar button, and turn it on. And there you go. I hope this helps. And thanks for watching.